Hey, so you're probably here for one of three reasons. A, you look bad in oversized clothes, and you're wondering, how am I messing this up? All you gotta do is literally just buy bigger clothes. How the hell am I f***ing this? B, you look good in oversized clothes, or maybe you have some qualms with it, and now you're looking at yourself in the mirror, and I'll, I'll sh now that I bring it up, you're, you're kind of just thinking about it, and you're like, uh, maybe I don't look good in oversized clothes, and now you're doubting yourself and I am sorry. Or C, you don't even wear oversized clothes, but now you're just like, well, fuck, if I do ever decide to wear oversized clothes, I don't wanna look bad in them. And now you're watching this video instead of doing whatever the hell you were supposed to be doing and now you're procrastinating. Well, better to be safe than sorry, and honestly, if you're either one of the three, you're gonna get something out of this video. And as someone whose closet is almost exclusively oversized clothes, and also I lost 120 pounds over the course of my adult life, so everything kind of just naturally became oversized at one point. And also, sometimes you're just kind of feeling a little insecure, you ate a lot earlier, just throw on an oversized hoodie and bam, nobody needs to know. And that's my favorite part about it. And as you can see, I have a lot to say on this topic, but before we get into that, you guys are gonna have a lot to save with the sponsor of this video, Karma. And that is what we call oversized cringe. Karma, formerly known as Shop Tagger, our best friends, is the best way to save money online shopping. You can sign up right now with the link below. It's free. I've been using it. The coupon checker feature that they have integrated when you're shopping, you just, whatever you look, it doesn't even have to be close. Whatever you're looking at, they'd say, oh, there might be some coupons. You click on it just to make sure. It's better to be safe than sorry. And right here, I saved some coin doing nothing. Good karma. So after you sign up and install it using the Chrome extension, you'll get this blue boy right here whenever you go online shopping. And then uh, bam, you just click it. You'll get this drop down menu where you can save an item that you like, or you can get notified via email or push notification if you want on a price change or whatever. I kind of just click any price change. It doesn't really matter. Money's money. Or you can uh, get save it to a list to organize yourself and as you can see, I have a lot of lists because I don't know, trends change, seasons change, things change, feelings change, people change too. Never thought the circumstances would have changed you. Also, they have cash back now. All you gotta do is click this thing whenever it drops down on a partnered site and bam, you'll get money sent straight to your PayPal after a period of time. So now go get Karma, formerly known as Shop Tagger. Just go ahead and click the link in the description, install the Chrome extension like me. You'll be saving money shopping for better oversized clothes. We're talking oversized, not overdraft fees, guys. Thank you to Karma for sponsoring this video. All right, so I like to break this down into a POP system or you can call it poop for short, doesn't matter. The first letter being proportions. And now you're probably thinking, oversized clothes, proportions, ain't no ah! You would think that. You go up a size, you're small by a medium, you're medium by a large, you're large by XL, it doesn't matter. And ostensibly, that's how oversized works, right? Well, you gotta keep in mind, whenever that width gets bigger and you get into like that little baggy edge, you gotta realize the length is also going up. Some brands do it more than others, but that's why you gotta be mindful. These two hoodies right here, I have. They're essentially the same width. They give me the same baggy edge, but Look at this length discrepancy. It's essentially two to three sizes longer, making for a completely different fit, even though you think it's all the same. Breaking news, it's not. So you gotta be careful. And also length, we gotta talk about height, comes up in all its fashion. And now I'm not necessarily a short king icon, but I'm also not necessarily guarding LeBron on the weekends. Actually, nobody's guarding LeBron on the weekends anymore. But um, let's see, my height is actually so neutral that it's never even a conversation in my life. So let me just break down this illusion for you. So the gold standard, six feet. Everyone wants to be there, right? At least, you know, or maybe sometimes your genetics fall short. 5'10", 5'11", you think it's close enough no, you're reaching. Five, it's like, like you're so close, but you, you can't ride these right, buddy. Five, seven, five, eight. I feel it's just barely too short. You know, visually, these numbers are just kind of short. I don't know if that makes any sense to, to anyone else. Is that synesthesia? No, synesthesia is with color. Five, well, five, seven is orange and red, and then five, eight is orange and pink, and then five, nine is orange and like a very bold magenta but it's the perfect neutral height. It's the Fibonacci spiral of mediocrity. It's not too close to six feet to be reaching, and it's not 
so short that I gotta look up whenever I wanna make eye contact, you know what I mean? And then transposing this to fashion, this golden ratio means that I'm actually still short. Cause that's just, and so I still have to pay attention to length and I have to be funny with girls and stuff, you know? So, I mean, I do pay attention to length. I like a boxier kind of cropped cut so that I could juxtapose it with my bottoms. Maybe 28 to 29 inch length is good. And then you kind of just go as wide as you want, depending on the day. The main thing here is you can still achieve this oversized aesthetic without having to drown out the rest of your fit, you know? With hoodies, like I'm wearing now, you kind of have more leeway as they do look better, bigger. Anyways, you just gotta be mindful. And then for jackets, you have even more leeway because they're more structured. They're gonna be more boxy. There's gonna be more of a silhouette as opposed to a shirt where the fabric kind of just falls down and drowns you. So now that we kind of have an idea of proportions, the next letter on this poop system that I got going on is the O for objective. Why are you even doing this? Why oversized? Is it for like this cool vintage careless cut? Is it for fear of God? Is it for that flowy boxy SLP look? Is it Kanye? Did you buy the wrong size? There's so many different angles. And figuring out what you're even going for is just gonna help you look better in the long run. Like for vintage, for like this whole Carol, I don't care look uh, fit, I kind of like going for an oversized shirt and like some baggy pants, kind of just looking like some, I just hopped up out the bed, turn my swag on, take a look in the mirror, I don't fucking care. It's just the carelessness and kind of the rough nature of the fits, not too oversized, not too slim, kind of just makes for a good chill vibe as opposed to like a more modern SLP type look where it's like a very boxy or flowy top contrasted with some really slim tapered jeans. It's just different types of oversize for different types of objective. Do you get, uh, does this make any sense? Like that modern trope I was talking about, everyone's doing this, big shirt or big hoodie, slim jeans. This is like the norm. I mean, it's kind of easy to do. You kind of get bored of it. And by the time you start to get the proportional play down and just a sense of objective of what you even want to do with your outfit, you're going to start looking good already. And now all you got to do is finish up the system. Once you get your proportions and your objective down, the last step in the poop system is the, the last P to make the poop spicy. P for pairing or P selection, same thing. You got the fit down, but what fits the vibe? The vibe fits, but does the fit vibe? Realize, realize, realize. But this whole P selection part of the video kind of ties everything together. Like if you're going for that vintage vibe, maybe a varsity jacket, oversized. It's It fits the vibe, it has that cool little boxy shape. Or if you're going for baggy pants, like even just picking the right shoes silhouette wise to go with your pants. Like I have these really nice kind of wide structured pants. I'm not gonna wear a petite, very slim, delicate, ooh, small pair of shoes like my Gats. It's just gonna be overbearing, it's overpowering. I don't like that dynamic. Maybe a chonkier shoe, like some forces, or even like a pair of blazers, that high top, you get a lot of structure there too. It's that piece selection, you add that little bit of, there we go. That's what it was missing, you know? A chain is only as strong as its weakest link and your fit's only as good as its worst piece, maybe, probably. Same thing with tops, if you're going for a more modern or big slim contrast, like with this wide ass bomber, sometimes I'll run it with slim jeans, sometimes I wanna switch it up and put some flare jeans, you know, you get a little nice taper at the waist, so you get this nice contrast, but it comes together at the bottom and you add more spice. Well, with oversize in general, kind of get away with a lot. That's kind of the whole vibe. You can just get away with just throwing it on. But the good pairing is what takes it a step further, you know? It takes your fit from being a medium to an XL in terms of drip. Overall, the whole point of oversized fit is to change up the proportions and add some flavor. The angle on this is contrast. So if you have a slim body, contrast with some oversized pieces, it's gonna look good due to the complementary proportions. If you have a stockier frame and you pair it with some oversized clothes, it's not gonna be as aesthetically sound because you're losing a lot of the contrast. But you, there's still a lot of ways that you can make the fit look good, like, like being objective in the piece selection like I was talking about earlier. You can still achieve some cool looks outside of just pure proportional juxtaposition, big, small. So if you used to take a look in the mirror and think, why don't I look good in oversized clothes? How am I messing this up? I hope you were able to find some tips in this video and get you on your journey to looking good.
looking solid, tight, thick. And yeah, you can follow me on Instagram at ChristianVY for some minspo, maybe. I don't know. Or some just bad takes on Twitter, JK underscore Wiley. Or also thank you to Karma for sponsoring this video. Oversized thank you to Karma for sponsoring this video and the channel. You guys are the best. Go get Karma now. It's in the description. Oversized, save money now. Thank you. And watch the podcast. Here's a clip. You're, you're outside. Courage. Okay. Um, <laughs> d d d d d D? She's kind of thick. Yeah, look, it's ridiculous.